First of, let me show it to you one more time in case you have missed it. So we press super in right bracket, and the new shell screenshot tool is presented in the bottom of the screen. Our first choice is to make a regional selection, and after placing our rectangle we can also move it around, or resize it from the four handlers. And the feedback is as smooth as butter. At this point we are on screenshot mode, but we can easily switch to video recording. It doesn't work yet, but if we start a screencasting we're also gonna get a video shell indicator. The next choice we have is the full screen selection, and in this case shell will draw a white border around although most of the graphics will be a bit different on the actual release. Now, from here we can exit by pressing escape. And let me open a couple of windows to show you the last option. And meanwhile, we can launch the shell screenshot even from the windows picking state. Some unbeatable shell mechanics. So, next we can choose the windows option, and then we can select the window we want. And even if the visuals aren't the best, the concept is awesome. And so, perhaps the very best way to contribute to GNOME is to contribute with code, but the next best way is to open bugs, so developers can track them and fix them. And lots of those bugs require to submit a screenshot or a short video, so it will make developers life easier to understand the issue, but it also helps users to explain the issue. They are not rare the times you're reading a bug, but you have a hard time to understand what the reporter says. So hopefully this tool will encourage people to open better bug reports, or even actually open bug reports they were so lazy to do before. For example? So that's the merge request, and by the way the new screencast won't be in GNOME 41, but on some next version maybe. And anyway, if we scroll all the way down, we'll see the heavy Matthew Miller, leader of Ubuntu Project. NANI? <laughs> and if we click on Miller account, we'll see he is in GNOME GitLab since 2017, playing dead, so hopefully this tool will motivate him, and people like him, to be more active in the future. So, back to video main event, and I want to quickly mention the 3 in 1 reasons that will make everyone to love this. Or almost everyone. The first reason is that the screenshot is core part of Shell, so everyone will have it, it will have the same shortcut, and most probably distros won't screw up configurations and setups. It will be always there, the same, and for everyone. The second reason is very related to first one. So because it is a part of Shell, we don't need to open stupid windows and stuff. It is a single shortcut to open it, and just escape to exit it. The third reason has to do with its simplicity. I understand that people request new features and capabilities all the time and from everything. But sometimes loading the interfaces too much can be discouraging for people to use it, and I believe this is a special case that you don't want to put complexity. Now, put all those together, and I believe we are dealing with a very good by design gameplay. Of course if we get bad performance or bugs, bad output quality and all those? That's a totally different story. In any case, there is one single person that can enlighten us. So Luke, what you think for all those? Wave your hand.